The Mahoning Valley is chock full of history. Let's learn about some of it together on today's Daily Buzz. Today's Business Journal Daily Buzz is brought to you by 717 Credit Union. The Mahoning Valley Historical Society is putting out some great content to keep history alive in your home. We'll tell you all about it in this week's After Hours Report. The After Hours Report is sponsored by Eastern Gateway Community College. With more than 35 programs, EGCC can help you with your career preparation and transfer plans. Hey everyone, I'm Maggie Young and welcome back to the After Hours Report Quarantine Edition. And today we're going to be making a sweet treat while learning about a piece of our valley's history thanks to the Mahoning Valley Historical Society. The Historical Society just announced a brand new teaching tool available at their website, mahoninghistory.org. They're called, did you know, Home Projects. Curator of Education, Tracy Manning, says the goal of the projects is to bring history home. So the idea was to have some history of a local person or place or event, and then some kind of activity to continue that learning. Now the trick with the activity is we tried to find things that you might have around the house. So hopefully we won't have to head out anywhere to do any shopping. Uh, so hopefully folks can, can kind of make do with things they have around the house. These activities are aimed at the younger generation, so parents, this is a perfect way to keep your kids busy and learning. One of the lessons is about ice cream, and I may be a 31-year-old lady, but I am never above learning about ice cream. So Tracy's here to give us a short lesson on the history of ice cream in the valley and tell us about Harry Burt's Good Humor Ice Cream Bar. There is so much ice cream history in the Mahoning Valley, um, from Harry Burt to Isley's, the Klondike Bar, Handles, you name it. Youngstown might be famous for steel, but ice cream has got to be up there in the top five. <laughs> Good Humor and Harry Burt, we've got a special connection with him because we have his building. So he came here around the late 1890s and started a little penny candy store. And it kind of grew and grew and grew this business. And eventually he opened up his huge shop at 325 West Federal Street. And by this point, he was making ice cream. Now, what he's most famous for is ice cream on a stick. So the idea back then, you're eating a nice ice cream bar, you know, like a Klondike style bar that's coated in chocolate. What happens to your hands? Your hands get messy. So he thought, well, let's put it on a stick. It might be cleaner. So they patented a way to coat the chocolate, get it on a stick and ice cream bars on sticks were invented. Um, he had the patent. The name Good Humor um, is kind of a, a play on words at the time to mimic being happy. You were in a good humor because your hands were clean and you're eating really good ice cream too. Um, and so his history goes back well over 100 years ago. Um, the Good Humor brand still exists today. You can still find it out in grocery stores um, it's not local anymore. It is owned by Unilever, uh, but its roots are right here in the valley. So one of the reasons I chose to feature this lesson is because the activity that goes along with it is actually making ice cream. And who doesn't love ice cream? Seriously, if you don't love ice cream, we can't be friends. So without further ado, let's get started. Following the instructions in the home project packet, we'll need one half cup of half and half, one tablespoon of sugar, one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract, ice, ice cream salt, one pint-sized Ziploc bag, and one gallon Ziploc bag. First, we'll start off by mixing together our half and half sugar and vanilla extract. Then pour it into our pint-sized Ziploc bag and seal it up. Next, in our gallon bag, we're going to add our ice and ice cream salt. Then we throw the bag filled with the ice cream mixture in there as well. So to get our ice cream to freeze, we have to shake this bag for at least five minutes. And what better way to do that than with a dance montage? We'll shake it up, baby, now. Shake it up, baby. Twist and shout. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Yeah, yeah. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. So 
now that our ice cream has been thoroughly shaken, let's see how it turned out. Not bad at all. It tastes delicious, but I still think it's missing something. I know it's what Harry Burt would have wanted. In addition to this home project, there are several others to choose from. You can make paper airplanes while learning about Mary Ann Campana, who at the age of 18 became Ohio's first licensed woman teenage pilot. You can create a work of art using paint and leaves while you learn about Elizabeth Ann Fellows, whose dream was to create a beauty spot for all to enjoy. You know it as Fellows Riverside Gardens. You can even design your own town while learning about Youngstown founder John Young and the area's first settlement in 1797. Those are just a few of the Did You Know home projects that you and your family can do right at home. And you can find them by visiting mahoninghistory.org and clicking Home Projects at the top of the page. And we have new stuff coming as well. We should have a new pack of about eight or 10 activities in the next week or so. We have started a social media series looking at artifacts from our collection and kind of getting a behind the scenes kind of look at these um, specific artifacts. So that's going out on social media Mondays and Wednesdays. We're also working with some video projects through the business and media archives. Now their social media is separate from ours. Make sure you follow them. And then we're gonna hopefully have kind of our own video series starting soon where myself and some of the other staff will be doing like mini presentations, little mini history presentations, and then kind of going from there who knows? It's just going to continue to grow. And that's it for this week's After Hours Report Quarantine Edition. Be sure to check out businessjournaldaily.com and afterhoursyoungstown.com for all the latest news. If you plan on making some ice cream this weekend and you need something to shake it to, then I leave you with the Lava Brothers performing their song, Morena.
The After Hours Report is sponsored by Eastern Gateway Community College. With more than 35 programs, EGCC can help you with your career preparation and transfer plans. 717 Credit Union, business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. 717 Credit Union, it's knowing you are treated right every time.